Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a good week. Today I'm going to be reading to you one of my favourite books. This book is actually mine from when I was a child, so it's quite old. And it's called Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy. And it's published by Walker Books. You might have seen these books in our year two reading corner, if you're in year two. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard she set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs Large, you can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs Large, downstairs by yourselves and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. There they are, all following her up the stairs. Mrs Large ran a, ran a hot, deep bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. That looks very relaxing, doesn't it? Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Can I please, just for one minute? Go on then, sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on then, just one page. So, Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bath water. Thank you, dear, said Mrs Large weakly. Can I see the cartoons in the paper? asked Laura. Can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in the water with you? asked the little one. Mrs Large groaned. Well, it's a very busy bathroom there. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. Mrs Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her. And there they are all coming to follow her.
the end. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope to see you soon. Bye!